Hello everyone, and welcome to the Balloon Star Defense 6 Camo Guide. Now let me just say, full on beforehand, that I had written out an entire massive script about what I was going to talk about, and specifically how I was going to say it, and I recorded it a few times, but over the times uh, and attempts that I have recorded, um, I butchered the, the reading multiple, multiple times due to dyslexia. So, I'm just going to wing it, and we're going to go with this. But, today, we're going to be covering every single tower and hero's camo abilities and the potential they have uh, to pop camo, and how they do so. But before we begin as well, I would like to say that we should probably go over a few categories in order to specify how we define how towers deal with camo. First off is detection, and we'll use the Dart Monkey here as a quick little example. Enhanced eyesight allows the Dart Monkey itself to pop camel balloons. This is detection. Uh, that means that any single tower on their own can deal with camel detection. Then we have cleanses, which would be appearance on, let's say, Shimmer with the with the Wizard Monkey. This rem uh, removes all camo detection or camo on balloons permanently so that other towers can see it that don't have camo detection. Then we have ability-based camo detection, which isn't necessarily detection, but rather towers will be able to attack balloons with their ability, but not with their base attack. That anything else in the way, let's get started. So the Dart Monkey, as talked about before, has the Enhanced Eyesight, which allows it to detect camo balloons at a tier 2, which allows it to cross path with any of its uh, tier 5s, allowing it to pop camo with any of these three tier 5s. Next on, we have the Boomerang Monkey. Now, you might think that this man can't pop camo balloons, however, surprisingly, he's in a little bit of a special situation where he can pop camo balloons, but only the glaives that surround Glaive Lord can. Otherwise, his base tower cannot attack camo balloons. As you can see here, his character moves, and he's now attacking balloons with his main attack, but his glaives in this point are attacking camo. It's just something special to note. However, no, none of his other tier 5s can attack camo balloons naturally. Moving on to the bomb shooter. Now, the bomb shooter can't attack camo balloons naturally either. However, it does have a special property with bomb blitz, as Bomb Blitz, when a life is lost, a Bomb Storm will destroy every balloon on screen below a ZOMG. Now, despite it not having camo detection, it can still influence these, uh, these camo balloons and destroy every balloon on screen. However, it is not an advised method of dealing with camo balloons, as you will have to lose a life every single time, and also there is a cooldown on this ability, but it's just to note that it can happen. Then we have the Tax Shooter. Now, this also has a bit of an unorthodox method of dealing with camo balloons, however, the tier 5 in Inferno Ring can attack camo balloons, but only with its meteors. And so it is also a very inconsistent way of dealing with camo balloons, especially since these meteors can do a lot more damage to balloons such as ZOMGs or BFBs. The mob class balloons will fall a lot quicker than a majority of your camo balloons. And so, as you can see, it dealt with the ZOMG very well, but not with the camo ceramics. Moving on, we have the Ice Tower. The Ice Tower is a bit interesting, because the Ice Tower has Embrittlement, which is more of a cleanse. And so it will remove camo uh, from these balloons, and let's put down a boomerang monkey just to give this example. Now it can attack these balloons, right? So, embrittlement does that. In addition, it can also strip uh, regrow properties from balloons. And so it decamos every single balloon in the game, including DDTs, but in a special way as well. Now, surprisingly, with DDTs, um, how embrittlement works, and I might need to put down two or three of these, because during testing it didn't go too well either. Um, it's very inconsistent, so let's just see if we can make this happen. Um, but if we have some lead balloons, let's say, so that they're popping balloons all together, and we put in some DDTs, oh, there we go. Right? You can tell that they won't 
target the DDTs, but if they're targeting regular balloons and they happen to hit DDTs, you can see that this one was decamoed. And so it it removes the properties there, but it can't target mob class balloons itself. Unlike Super Brittle, which can target mob class balloons because, well, that's what the upgrade does. So it's a bit of an odd interaction, but the Ice Monkey and Brittlements is pretty strong in that way. Especially when you're trying to do primary only. Then we have the tier 4 Snowstorm. Now, this one's also a bit interesting, because as you can see, the tower is not attacking the balloons, but the ability will. And so let's do that with yellow balloons as well, so that you can see the damage. It does one layer of damage and freezes them for some time. The same thing goes for Absolute Zero, however, this one is a bit stronger. And as you can see, also cannot attack the balloons itself. Moving on, we have the Glue Gunner. The Glue Gunner also cannot attack any uh, Camel Balloons naturally. However, alike to the Ice Monkey, it can glue balloons on the screen with its ability. Like so. Blue Storm is the same way as well. Now, we have the Sniper Monkey. I believe it is the... and the Dartling Gunner, who both have their Camel... To oh, sorry, their Camel Detection on their 010 upgrade, which is simply a granted Camel Detection. Now, the same story goes for the Tier 2s for the boat, the uh, heli, uh, or not the heli pilot, the monkey ace, and the heli pilot. Except the boat is on the bottom path, crow's nest here, which allows camo detection here. And surprising to some, every single military monkey has a way with dealing uh, with camo balloons. However, these are the ones that have camo detection themselves. Now we look at the submarine right here, which is a bit odd, because Advanced Intel can also deal with Camel Balloons, but in a different way. Let's put a Dart Monkey here, and let's upgrade you to Air Burst Starts so that we can see the damage for ourselves, and let's spray out a couple Zebra Balloons. We can see that they're being targeted through here, but only when within the range of the Dart Monkey who already has Camo. Whereas if I were to put down a Dart Monkey here without camo detection, you'll notice that it only shoots on the bottom where this Dart Monkey is. So it will only attack the, the balloons that are currently revealed by another tower. Now, moving on, and I have to sell this submarine just to stress a point forward. Give me a second. But if we go to submergent support, the uh, submarine, well, uh, well submerged, also gains a cleanse effect. So we'll be able to see these lead balloons being cleansed of their camo detection, and we can put down a bomb tower just to be sure. I mean, the visual is pretty much there, but it's nice to have that extra reassurance of, yes, this is happening, right? Now, surprising as well, if we put in some pinks, you'll notice that a few of them get passed without being decamoed, right? And this can be influenced by two things. One, if you buy the bottom path, the frequency of the decamo is increased. So you'll notice that no pink balloons at this point forward can get past my, my submarine. And the same principle is applied with Balloon Tonium Reactor. However, it won't be quite as noticeable because, well, this one does pop balloons at a ridiculous rate. But the rate is also increased with these air, bur air burst darts, so it's, it's beneficial overall. Quick special note before we move on. A tier 5 submarine does not need camo detection for the initial missile to attack uh, mob class balloons, mainly DDTs. And so you can see the missiles coming out without it having any method of camo detection whatsoever. You can see that even more with the ceramics passing the exit. Moving on to the Mortar Monkey. Also a bit of an interesting one as we have Signal Flare, a cleanse as well that will decamo balloons, so let's just check that out real quick. See? Decamo there. We'll put down a dart monkey just to show. Yep, decamo Right. But I think the most interesting one comes out from Balloon Cineration. 
And we're gonna look at this too, because if I send out a bunch of ceramic balloons... Okay, well, they're, they're all getting popped, but let me try and readjust this real quick. Let's say some of them get past this uh, balloon incineration. Which it doesn't appear that they are. Let me do fortif fortified. There we go. You'll notice that a few of these balloons are still camoed. Which means that the tower itself has a natural camo detection. And the fire is dealing damage to the camo balloons. But only the impact of the explosion will decamo the balloons. And so you can't rely on that too much. Or you can't rely on the fire to, to decamo the balloons. So you can't just have the track completely deny any balloons that come past this point. Which is why the submarine is generally the, the better pick in most cases, as long as you have water. Moving third to the Wizard Monkey, who actually has a lot of ways of getting rid of camo balloons. The first one is a detection on the 002 upgrade Monkey Sense, which, you know, just allows natural camo detection. Hooray. But then we have Shimmer. Now, Shimmer is a area-wide little ring that decamos everything around it, and it, it, it counts as a cleanse, right? And so we can see that all these balloons are losing their camel properties, except for this one didn't hit. hit. It does have a cooldown. Um, so there's that, but this is the wizard cleanse. And surprising or not, the Archmage, tier 5 on the top, actually inherits both, both Dragon's Breath and Shimmer, which means that a 500 Archmage can actually pop camo balloons. It's just more inconsistent because it needs to cleanse the camo uh, from all the balloons around it, compared to Monkey Sense, where it will just be able to pop those balloons naturally. Lastly, the Wizard Monkey's middle tier 5 ability, uh, and possibly Summon Phoenix. I actually have yet to test this because I found out recently. Yes, okay. So Summon Phoenix can also pop camo balloons, while the base tower itself cannot without... Uh, the bottom path of the wizard. And so, if you have the Summon Phoenix here, it can deal with Camel Balloons. Additionally, the Wizard Lord Phoenix, who has a, a Phoenix uptime constantly, can deal with the Camel Balloons as well. Um, in addition to the Transformation Phoenix, which can also now detect Camel Balloons. Um, however, it is much, much stronger, so that is uh, something to note as well. Moving on to the Super Monkey. The Super Monkey has a natural detection on the Ultra Vision um, upgrade, which is the the bottom path. So you'll be able to see that, you know, he pops he pops these balloons. Well, not too well, but he does pop them. And then he also has the the same situation with the Ice Monkey and the Glue Gunner. As although this Tech Terror does not currently have uh, camo detection, he can indeed pop camo balloons if we were to send out a wave of uh, leads and ceramics with this ability here. Same thing goes with anti-balloon, as it is also an upgrade of this tower. It removes those quickly as well. The ninja, well, if you've played this game before, you know that the ninja just can pop camo balloons at the start. So there's not too much to cover here, but he does have a, um, a cleanse on the 0 to 0 upgrade which means that he can decamo balloons by hitting them. Like so. The Alchemist uh, can't pop camo balloons, He's just he, he just can't. Moving on to the Druid. The Druid actually has, and surprising to me, has a natural detection on the 0, or the 500 upgrade. You can see it's a tier 4, it doesn't have camo detection. And bam, now he does. So, the... The Superstorm actually grants camo detection, but it doesn't really tell you that. I just found that interesting, because, well, you wouldn't expect it. Secondly, we have the, uh, the Spirit of the Forest. Sorry, I couldn't think of the name. Now, Spirit of the Forest is alike to the Glaive Lord in that it has a special property on upgrading to the Tier 5, which can pop camo balloons, however, the tower itself cannot. The Banana Farm cannot pop camo balloons. I'll upgrade it to a Tier 5 as well. 
The only reason I actually include the banana farm in the first place is so I don't get yelled at. Um, but moving on to the Spike Factory. Now, the Spike Factory is a like to the ninja in that it doesn't really care, camo or not. They're just balloons, so it'll, it'll pop them regardless. Because they're just on the track, they're a hazard, they're a trap. So, yeah, the Spike Factory does technically have a natural camo detection. Um, and that doesn't change. Now, the Village. I actually found this one a bit interesting, because if you upgrade it to a 500 without the camo detection, you'll note that it's still attacking balloons regardless. The 500 has a natural camo detection like the Druid, and it's kind of crazy, because everyone always upgrades to Radar Scanner, which is our second little upgrade here, which allows for natural camo detection, which we'll go ahead and test with a quick bomb tower since it can't, can't uh, attack camo naturally, and bam, there you go. It's targeting camo, so that works. And that's all we have from the village. Then lastly, we have the engineer, who has the suds. That was interesting, how'd a bottle get over here? Anyways, so the suds are a cleanse, which decamo balloons that go over them. However, they are a bit inconsistent, so you might want to consider upgrading the cross paths as they impact the uh, rate of which the bubbles are coming out, as you can hear right now. Or, you can upgrade the pierce. And that covers every single tower. Now onto the heroes. So I'll be honest, when editing this together, I found myself trying to work with some footage that was really cringy about me talking about every single hero in depth about the levels that they gained camo. But at the end of the day, I just realized those are statistics. So I'm just gonna drag aside all of this, uh, this page and just give you guys the information flat out uh, so then you don't have to watch five more minutes for information that can basically be received within a few seconds. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this information helpful. Have a nice night.